Well, a healthy 23-year-old Chinese tennis star, Wu Yibing, forced, pulled out of a match after collapsing, or not just once, but twice on the court in a span of two weeks. The first incident taking place at Wimbledon, the second one at the Washington Open. What is going on? We are going to dive in and discuss in just a second. Welcome everybody to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you as always, we walk by faith, not by sight. And well, for someone like me, that's kind of my only option. Hey, do me a huge favor as well. Hit that like button. It really helps us in the algorithms getting these videos out to more people. Share the video as well across all your platforms. Hit that bell, subscribe. Yes, wear the glasses because I'm blind, not because I'm trying to make a fashion statement of any kind. And also, if you guys could consider making a generous donation here to my ministry, it really helps a lot. You could do it a couple different ways. One, simply by kicking that, clicking that super thanks button down below on this video here. That's how you can tip me with a one-time donation. Select any amount you want. Really easy to do here from the main video page or join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash news. Link there in the description. When you guys sign up to the Patreon, you get exclusive early access to these videos before they ever hit the main YouTube channel. Also, you're going to get the alerts for all the videos. That's not going to happen with just the YT notifications. You can comment censorship free on all videos there and send me direct messages. So check it out. Again, it's patreon.com slash news. Link there in the description. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So what in the world is going on? A healthy 23-year-old tennis star, Wu Yibing, collapsing suddenly on the court. Yeah, not once, but twice. Now, this is what's so crazy about this. The first incident took place several weeks ago at Wimbledon. Now, this had everybody talking, right? By no means is the first time that we've seen somebody on the tennis court collapse. We've had people collapsing on the tennis court that have died. And I reported on that. Now, luckily for, for Wu Yibing, he's, he's still alive. However, uh, this is a very disturbing pattern now that's taken place. Now, let me go back to the first incident, the first incident here, because the one that took place at Wimbledon, um, they took a timeout, you know, for him to get a medical examination because he collapsed there on the court. Remember, 23 years old. OK, so they take him into the back in the trainer's room. They're, they're evaluating him and they had to extend the medical timeout because apparently he ended up passing out again in the trainer's room. But after a period of time, they cleared him to come back to the game, which is crazy to me that they would let him back out there after, you know, he, you know this happened, you know, twice at, at Wimbledon alone. Um, nevertheless, he goes back out of the court. He ended up losing both of his sets. So his hopes of, you know, progressing there at Wimbledon went out the window. But now fast forward a couple of weeks later. Now, this is all in July, mind you, okay? He goes to the Washington Open in Washington, D.C., and the incident happens again. Now, I have the clip of this, which I'm going to put for you in the description down below. He collapses as he was walking over to his chair. Now, keep in mind, this is in right in the middle of the set that he was playing. Okay, And I'm somebody who used to play tennis before I went blind, so I, I love the game. I really do. I understand how it works. He was leading 4-1. to one. Well, He was doing really good. But then right there as he gets to his chair, you'll see in the clip again, I'm going to put it in the description, he drops to the ground right as he gets to the chair. Now, I want to go back to the Wimbledon situation here when he first collapsed there because after that incident took place, they they interviewed him. And this is because, you know, they always come up with these different excuses, right? And I was actually kind of surprised when I saw this that dehydration wasn't the one that came up because dehydration seems to be the one that they always like to go to the most, right? Oh, I just didn't drink enough water. Of course, I'm, I'm playing in a competitive game. And so, you know, I just didn't get enough water. That's actually not what Wu Yibing said. What he said instead was that he believes that the incident occurred due to indigestion. I said, what? Indigestion? That's why he collapsed? And he said that something he ate the night before the Wimbledon match didn't sit well with his stomach. He said that he even felt it as he was playing and, you know, thought that he might go unconscious at any moment. And then he did. But then he promised that he would go for a full medical examination at some point after that. Now, we don't know if he ever did or not. If he did, it wasn't something that was reported, at least nothing that I found. So we're going to blame indigestion now for the collapse. Okay, 
So even if even if that was the case for Wimbledon, what's the excuse for a couple of weeks later at the Washington Open when he collapsed suddenly again? Is it also indigestion? Did, did he eat something? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's a ritual. Maybe before Wu plays his matches, he, you know, the, the night before his dinner, he's got a custom dinner that he eats. Just maybe he should stop eating. Okay, no, look, look. I don't believe it for a second, okay? We know what this is. The vac strikes again, ladies and gentlemen, right? We had a little period where we weren't, you know, seeing as many reports coming out, but now we are, we're seeing a lot more. Remember, a lot more people took the boosters and everything else like that. And for, for a lot of these players, remember, they were required to get it if they wanted to be able to play. You know, one who did it, Novak Djokovic, remember? Mm-hmm. And good on Novak for that, too, by the way, despite with Biden and everything, they don't want to let him into the country and this and that. His people are just, yeah, despicable. So in this case here with Wu for the Washington Open, after he collapsed when he got to the chair, uh, they took him out of the match altogether. They weren't taking any more chances. They saw what happened at Wimbledon. They're like, uh-uh, we ain't going to put him back out there. So uh, his opponent ended up winning the match, and you know he got taken out. So... You know, they again, and they're not saying what this was, you know, talking about the second time here. But again, we know what this is. And it, it's it's actually, it's sad that so many young athletes like this are just continuing to drop. You know, it, it, they don't want to tell us what it is. But we know what it is, right? Some of them are able to, you know, get back into playing again. And for some others, their career is over. Remember, he's only 23 years old. Okay. Healthy 23-year-old should not be dropping on the tennis court. I don't want to hear indigestion. I don't want to hear dehydration. None of it. Because we know what it is. It's sad. At the same time, though, people made a decision. And they got to live with it. It's too bad. Uh, again, I'm going to put the link down below in the description if you want to watch the incident take place uh, with the collapse. Let me know your thoughts as well. What I want to do right now, though, something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, of course, keep you guys up to speed on everything else going on. I do it because we are in the last days and Jesus Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching me right now, if you've never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back into your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, He'll wipe your sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, I'll have more information on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. Join my Patreon. For as little as five bucks a month, patreon.com slash notbysightnews, link in the description. Remember too, when you sign up to the Patreon, you get exclusive early access to these videos before they ever hit the main YouTube channel. You also get the alerts for all the videos, which you're not going to get with just the YT notifications. Or you can simply click the super thanks button down below on this video here to tip me with a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. I'll talk with you soon.